This is the ARS 548 RDI sensor from Continental used for acquiring the dataset presented in the paper. This sensor has been installed in our ARCO robotic platform alongside with a LiDAR from Oster OS132 just to test uh, and compare the measurements between the radar and LiDAR sensors. Please note the two different connections that are necessary for the radar sensor to work. We have a power connection in red and black and then a data connection in green and white. And alongside with the radar sensor we need an Ethernet adapter just to connect it to our laptop. You will have to connect the data cables to the Ethernet connector and then the power cables will be connected to any power supply that can supply 12 volts. To download the driver, we have to first go to the GitHub repository page and, do and copy the URL that's shown there. After that, we open our terminal, go to the package we have. We want the repository go to get cloned and execute the command git clone and the URL we have copied. To configure our Ethernet uh, connection with the driver, we have to first connect our computer to the radar using an Ethernet wire. After that, we go to the wire settings and we keep track of the hardware address. Once we have done that, we can go, uh, open a new terminal and execute the command NM Connection Editor. It opens an of new window in which we will create a VLAN connection. Uh, in the options we have to uh, select the parent interface that has to match the hardware address we have uh, kept track before and give it a new ID. Uh, this ID can be the one we, you, can, you are seeing in this video. After that we go to the IPv4 uh, settings, select the method of connection as manual and fill the address as you as seen in this video. Once you have done that, uh, the driver will work fine. To launch our driver, we have to first open a terminal and go to the package where our driver is contained. After that, we have to execute these three commands that you are seeing in the video that let us build, install and launch the driver. After launching our driver, you can see how an Arby's uh, window opens and after a few seconds the, uh, the point clouds will start appearing. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please go to our repository in GitHub for more information, do not hesitate in putting an issue, if you found any, when using our driver.